Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome for, uh, to you all, and thank you again for uh, getting up and joining us this morning for online Sunday school. It's lovely to have you join with us this morning. Again, I'd like to uh, say hello and welcome to all those that would normally attend Sunday school at uh, Providence Baptist Chapel in Bedford. It's uh, really good that you've joined in with us and uh, a very warm welcome to you. Also, to those that go to churches and chapels across the whole UK, again, it's really good that you've joined with us this morning and thank you uh, for logging on this morning. Also, a very warm welcome to any that have joined us for the first time. We're ever so thankful that we have people join us week by week to online Sunday school and the numbers keep growing. It does encourage us and um, thank you again for um, logging on this morning and joining on with us. As online Sunday school is a special time, we'd ask that you would turn off anything that might distract you or uh, disturb you during Sunday school. So just put it on turn it off or put it on silent for this uh, small moment as we take uh, part in online Sunday school. Right, so now we're going to sing our first hymn this morning, which is Look Unto Me and Be Ye Saved. Now this hymn is actually taken from a, uh, directly from a passage in Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 22, where it says, Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. Now, when you're at school, or out and about, you might hear people say, all religions of the world are the same, and they end up at the same place. It doesn't matter what you believe, you will end up in heaven. But the Bible, in the passage that we have just read, doesn't say that. It says there is only one way to be saved and go to heaven, which is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and we need to repent from our sin, and then if we look to the Lord Jesus Christ, he will save us. And that's the only way, as we sing in another hymn, no other way to get to heaven, but to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. But you may have been like I was. When I was young, growing up in Sunday school, I used to think that I was a very good child and that God might be happy with me because of the things that I've done, all the good things. Now, it's good to do good things, but it says also in the Bible that our righteousness, our good things, are like filthy rags, like dirty rags. And it won't please God if we, um, by our good works, there is only one way to be saved, and that's by believing and trusting on the Lord Jesus Christ, and only he can save us from our sins. So this morning, I really want you to think about the words in this hymn, Look unto me and be saved. Now we're going to play a short introduction like we normally do, and then you can join in with us at home. So look unto me and be ye saved. Look unto me and be ye saved. Welcome to any that have just joined online with us uh, in the last few moments. Again, I'd welcome the grown-ups as well to take part and encourage your children to join in with us this morning. So now we come to our prayer time in Sunday school. 
And I know many of you now know the prayer code uh, off by heart, but we have to remember when we pray to God, it's a very special time and, in, and solemn and important that we uh, abide by the prayer code. So firstly, we do not talk. Secondly, we close our eyes. And thirdly, we listen as we now pray. So let us now pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank thee again for this online Sunday school time and we come before thee in praise and adoration that of thy goodness and love to us. O Lord, for the way of salvation that thou hast made. O Lord, we know that we have no good thing in us. All our righteousness is as filthy rags, as dirty rags. And O Lord, we cannot please thee by our good works. But Lord, we thank thee that uh, thou didst send thy Lord Jesus Christ because thou didst love this world. And O Lord, that thou didst die on the cross to save us from our sin. And O Lord, we do pray that each child that is listening this morning may have that personal knowledge and salvation work in their heart that they may repent from their sin and look to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. O Lord, we thank Thee that the Bible tells us whoever we are, wherever we live, whatever our background, that the good news of the Gospel is for us. And O Lord, we thank Thee for that wonderful reminder that the Gospel um, is for all that will believe on him, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, this morning we particularly pray for those that work for thee across the whole world. Lord, we know of missionaries, those that spread the good news of the gospel and do a work for Jesus in other lands. Lord, we know that there are some that work in very difficult circumstances. There are some that work in even in the jungles and in with the tribe people in very remote areas across the world so that they can hear the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, they have a burden for those people because as that uh, verse and hymn that we have sung, that there is no other way of salvation. And, O oh Lord, how will they hear if there is no preacher? How will they hear if there is no one to um, tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we think of the work that we're doing now as we spread the good news of the uh, Lord Jesus Christ and the way of salvation, that uh, all the families that are listening in this morning may be blessed uh, through these means. Lord, we thank Thee for those families and we pray for Thy blessing and protection upon each of them at this time. Lord, do help us as we are still restricted in many ways. Lord, we are thankful that some of the restrictions have been lifted and maybe some of the children have gone back to school this week. Lord, do help them in this way. And Lord, keep them safe from the virus um, as they uh, go out and about. Lord, we are conscious that the virus has not gone away. Lord, though um, we may not see it directly around us, Lord, we still see the effects of it. Lord, we pray particularly for those that we know that have lost loved ones to this virus. Lord, we particularly pray for those that are sad at this time because they have lost family members. Lord, we uphold them in prayer at this time. Lord, do comfort them. We particularly pray at this time. Lord, we pray for uh, those that work in our health service still, that they may be helped as they care for those that are sick in the hospitals. Do help them, we pray. Lord, we pray now that thou wouldst bless us today, the Lord's day. Lord, help those that preach thy word. We pray particularly for our pastor, Oliver Winkle, Lord, that he may be helped uh, on the online services at 11 a.m. Uh, and 6.30 today. Lord, we pray that the technology may be um, uh, held up and that the glorious news of the Lord Jesus Christ may be sounded abroad. We also pray for other faithful churches up and down this land as they undertake to spread forth the gospel today. 
Lord, do bless them, we ask. Lord, do bless us now in this online Sunday school as we ask these things, plead the forgiveness of all our sin. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Okay, so if you can join in now with us as we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. Right, now we're going to come to our memory verse, and Kelly's going to now take you through the memory verse that we started last Sunday. So, Kelly. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Nice to have you with us again. So, we're going to continue this memory verse. So, we'll just skip on to the next slide. So, we're looking at this verse. It's from Jeremiah. If you would like to turn to it, it's page 727 in your TBS Bible. So, you can turn to that page if you would like to. But some of you may well have been practicing it every day, like we mentioned last week, and be really confident already with this verse. So, I'm sure some of you might not even need to turn that up. So let's have a read through and then I'm going to ask you something once we've read it through once first. Everyone together. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Death the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Death the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 24. Fantastic. Now last week we spoke about this verse and we said there were questions in this verse of two questions. But before we come on to those questions, I want you to have a think, who's actually asking these questions? Tell somebody at home, who is asking these questions? Well done. Now there is a clue because it says, Seth the Lord after both questions. So it's the Lord God asking these questions. So when it refers to I, it's talking about God. Now let's read that through once again, but it's James, you could just get rid of those because I think we'll remember Seth the Lord, okay? Let's read it through again. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not See him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Fantastic. Now let's have a think about this first question. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? So this is asking... Can anybody hide in a secret place anywhere that God cannot see them? Can you hide from God? Tell your adult. Yeah, that's right. No, we cannot hide from God. Wherever we go, we can try and find the best hiding place, but you still can't hide from God. We had a memory verse not long ago where we were talking about seeking the Lord, and we said about hide and seek there. Now, wherever we hide... In that game, someone will find us in the end, normally. But in this place, we know wherever we hide, God is there. We can go to another country. God's still there. We cannot hide from God. Now, the next question, I'm going to word it slightly differently. Um, does God fill heaven and earth? Does God fill heaven and earth? What's the answer? Tell your adults. Yes, that's right, yes. God does fill heaven and earth. So we cannot hide from him. Wherever we go, he is there. Now, there's a special word we can remember to think about God being everywhere. And that word is omnipresent. Can you say that at home? Say it with me. 
omnipresent. Now this is talking about God being everywhere. Now it's really nice, I know children really love some words that are a bit different and often those trickier words. We like to know because actually we, we remember them more often. So say that word again, we won't say it, you tell your adults if you remember it. That's right, omnipresent, well done. So remember that word. Now we're going to take some more away and carry on learning this verse. Okay, let's go again. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 24. Brilliant. Let's take some more away. Okay, let's go. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Okay, our first word's gone here. I'm wondering if we keep quiet on the blank mm. words and you just have to say them. We'll join in with the words on the screen, okay? Let's have a go at this one. So, I will say the first word just to bring us all in, okay? Can any himself in places shall see him. Fill and Jeremiah verse 24. Brilliant. Just catching people out this yeah. end. But well done, everybody. We'll take a few more away, and we're all joining together this time. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? Jeremiah Chapter 23, verse 24. Okay, nearly there with all of them. Just a few words left, so let's go again. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 24. Brilliant. Now all of the words have gone now so I think we're very good at this now. So let's say it together without any of the words there. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Death the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Brilliant. You have done such a great job learning that. Keep learning it this week and we'll continue it next week and we'll talk a little bit more about what it means for us now. Now, don't forget that special word. Can you remember it? Tell your adult if you can. If you can't, here's a reminder that a special word meaning God is every, everywhere is that he is omnipresent. So remember that word. Well done. Okay, so can you now take up your Bible? And if you can turn for our Bible reading to the book of Jeremiah and chapter 24. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 24. Now that's page 728 if you've got a Sunday School TBS Bible. 
And we're going to start the reading from verse 1 so, and read the whole chapter. So Jeremiah chapter 24. The Lord showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord. After that Nebuchadnezzar, or Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths, from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, or bad figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. Then said the Lord unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the evil, or bad, very evil, that cannot be eaten. They are so evil, or they are so bad. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so will I acknowledge them, that are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans, for their good. For I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. And I will give them an heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And as the evil or bad figs, which cannot be eaten, they are so evil, surely thus saith the Lord, so will I give Zedekiah, the king of Judah, and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, to be a reproach and a proverb and a a taunt and a curse in all places whither I shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers. Now I want you to turn now a few pages on to Jeremiah chapter 29, which is on page 733. So Jeremiah chapter 29, now you need to go down with your finger to verse, please. So we're going to read now from verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that ye may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord, for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Now go down to verse 10. For thus saith the Lord, that after seventy years be accomplished, at Babylon I will visit you, and perform my good word toward you, 
in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So after Online Sunday School's finished, if you go to our website, providencechapel.org.uk forward slash Sunday School, you'll see there the lesson today, which is on the passage that we've just read, Jeremiah and the Basket of Figs. And Myrtle Hare has done an online lesson for you to watch, and I'd encourage you all to watch that lesson very carefully because there are going to be some questions that you'll need to answer on the worksheets afterwards. So if you then go on that page underneath the video link, you'll see various worksheets that you can then click on. You can print those off for the age group that you are. And then for the younger ones, you can also um, do the colouring sheet. Underneath the worksheet, if you don't have access to a scanner or a photo way of sending those back to us, you have an online form that you can complete. And on that online form, it does ask for a parent's email address. It's just so that we know who you are so that we can keep a tab um, for any prizes that you might get for doing the worksheets. Once you've completed all the work, if you've done the um, paper worksheets, if you could just email those to us at Sunday School at providencechapel.org.uk. Your Sunday school teachers will be really pleased to see those and it does encourage us that you do complete those and we've had some lovely worksheets back from you over the week. So please do do those and you can also go back to previous weeks as well if you've, not, if you've missed a week um, already. Okay, so Kelly. Now this is fantastic. You will see we have got so many names on here. 64 names from the sheets completed last week. So fantastic number. Well done to all of you. I'm going to read out all your names now. So listen out so you can hear your name. So well done to Micah, Katie, Tommy, Ian, James, Primrose, Amelia, Zach, Eddie, William, Jessica, Thomas, Edward, Joshua, Emma, Charlie, Harry, Joshua, Caleb, Nathan, Leah, Susie, Caleb, Lydia, Abigail, Emily, Lessie, Praisey, Nathan, Susanna, Phoebe, Jonathan, Emmanuel, Noah, Amelia, Lawrence, Sienna, Orlando, Joanna, Jemima, Jessica, Isaac, Jesse, Oliver, Sophie, Emily, Louisa, Millie, Harry, Jacob, Tom, Sam, Izzy, Matthew, Joshua, Luke, Harry, Headley, Chloe, Phoebe, Kezia, Joshua, Thomas and Caitlin. Fantastic everybody, well done. I wonder if next week we'll have to have another column, Jane. Oh, that'd be good. I think yeah. we may. And as you can see at the bottom, we are celebrating two birthdays this week. So we wish Destiny a very happy birthday for Tuesday this coming week. And Nathan, we wish you a very happy birthday for Friday this week. So I hope you both have a lovely day. Now, it's really great because we've got some more prize winners this week. So for completing four weeks' worth of sheets, well done to James, Susanna, and Oliver. And then we also have some eight-week prize winners. So well done to Ian, Isaac, and Jesse. That's fantastic. Keep up the hard work, everybody. We love to receive your sheets, so keep sending them in. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And those sheets do look really good, so thank you. Uh, for doing those and we do encourage you to uh, keep carrying on doing the sheets and get those to us um, by 6 p.m. on Saturday. Well done for you that have done that last week. That really did help a lot. So we now come to our final hymn, Wide Wide as the Ocean. Now this is a uh, favourite hymn that we sing regularly in Sunday school and it reminds us of how big and great the love of the Lord Jesus Christ is. And it uses some um, things to try and show us how much greater the love of the Lord Jesus Christ is. It says that we think of the great wide oceans, like the Pacific Ocean, how wide it is. And, um, and really, it's very difficult for us to measure how wide these oceans are. And we think of the deepest, 
depths of the ocean, the Mariana Trench that's um, really, really, really deep. And um, this hymn is trying to explain to us how great the love of the Lord Jesus Christ is. It's greater than that. And though as sinners we don't deserve any of uh, the love of the Lord Jesus Christ because we are enemies, we turned our back on the Lord Jesus Christ, that his love is so great that he was willing to come to this earth and die on the cross to save us from our sins. So what wonderful love is of the Lord Jesus Christ that he was willing to die for us and we can become a child of his care. And again, there's that word about that his love reaches, reaches us everywhere. And we think about being omnipresent. His love is omnipresent. His love is everywhere. Wherever we are, we know we can turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and he will love us. So again, as we normally do, we're going to play a short introduction and then you can sing along at home to Wide, Wide as the Ocean. to our closing prayer and remember again the prayer code as we now pray dear Lord Jesus we come before thee now and we pray that each child that is listening here may take to their heart the lessons that they have learnt today we pray that they may know the Lord Jesus Christ and that love of Jesus uh, for themselves and put their faith and trust in him. O oh Lord, we thank thee for a wonderful Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, that can reach us wherever we are. Lord, do bless each child in the week ahead. Keep them safe. And O oh Lord, do bless us today for the remainder of this day as we ask these things now, pleading the forgiveness of all our sin. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So now if you could go to our website providencechapel.org.uk forward slash Sunday School and on there you'll find the link for today which is Jeremiah and the Basket of Figs. If you can watch the lesson very carefully and then you'll be able to answer the worksheets. On our website we also have access to our YouTube channel and on there you can find all our previous Sunday School lessons and online Sunday schools. Also, you can watch any of our services, which we have again today at 11 a.m. and 6.30 p.m., and you're very welcome to join us for those services. Next Sunday, God willing, we have online Sunday school again here, live at 9.15 a.m. We do thank you all for joining with us and the messages that you send us. It does really encourage us, and it's lovely to hear from you even though we can't be with you at this time so we pray that the lord will bless you and in this coming week ahead and thank you for joining us bye bye